Hooked on heroin, it is an epidemic in central New York. And across the country, the CDC says heroin-related overdose deaths have tripled since 2010. One Oswego County family right now is knee-deep in the pain of this. You're about to meet Carissa. She opened up to CBS 5's Allison Bybee about her addiction, her love affair with drugs, and how her family stepped in to save her life. This is a true story of what it's like to struggle to get clean in central New York. Totally insane. She definitely wasn't herself. Heroin has made me everything that I'm not, a liar, a manipulator, a thief. It took everything from me. I mean, I was a hope to die junkie. Um, it literally consumed me. I was a slave to that drug. That drug? Heroin. Carissa Hiltz has been a drug addict for 15 years. We're just gonna have to get a grill line sweep. All right, what do you got, bud? But just looking at her working as the kitchen manager at her mom's Central Square diner, you would never know what she has been through. But looks can be deceiving. I started using Oxycontin when I was 13. A uh, friend's mother gave it to me. Yeah, I was in love uh, instantly. Carissa says childhood trauma, being gay in central New York, and dropping out of school early led her to search for an escape. She says she found that in pills, then at 20, heroin. Um, it's cheap, so that's why I switched from pills to heroin. It's super cheap, and um, it's super easy to get. I guess you got to know the right people. It's $10 a bag. Um, I, myself, I was doing anywhere from like 20 to 40 bags in a day. Um, it's, yes, a lot. You all right? For eight years, she kept working at our diner and doing heroin until that drug became her only care in the world. You know, I was just a ticking time bomb. Well, if I wasn't, like, I would run through you to get the next fix. It didn't matter what. I needed to get it, you know? Um, and it, once I got it, it just be drooling on myself basically roast beef right Cam? No. chris's mom admits she didn't help the problem she supplied the hundreds of dollars a week to keep her habit going i was afraid if she didn't do it she was going to steal or end up in jail but i was also afraid that she was going to crash her car kill her kill somebody else i mean i was just terrified then her family says they had enough my family did an intervention um <clears throat> It was actually on TV. Um, I, I had no idea that they were doing that. On national TV, Carissa's family intervened. Carissa went to rehab this past November. It didn't last. She was back home doing drugs, and that's when she died. She relapses and dies, and I find her. I have to break down the door and find her. And she was blue, she wasn't moving. That was scary, you know. Um, my poor mother found me like that. If we had to wait for the ambulance, I'm not sure that I would be here. I probably wouldn't. And it's a miracle that there is a paramedic eating. In the back of the family's diner, Carissa overdosed. One would think that might scare her straight, but not Carissa. Two days later, she OD'd again. That was scary, but it still didn't, didn't scare me enough because honestly, you can't, really, um, you can't really scare a drug addict. Well, you can't scare this drug addict. That, that was finally, after 15 years, the turning point for Carissa. On February 1st, 2016, she went to rehab again. Clean day is uh, February 2nd. So far, 100 days sober. I'm basically fighting for my life every single day. Allison Bybee reporting for us. What a powerful story.